Okay, that cleared up a lot of inventory space. Ooh, there's a doorway there. That's cool. Damn, I thought there'd be a door. Oh, and now we know where the poison is. Run, Rebecca. Now we know why there's a blue herb. And they did a good job with the layout of this mansion. I'm gonna use a grenade launcher on this now. Okay. Uh, we wanna save. Let's split up. Roger. So I need a container, and I need to search two more of those sword dudes. Or those knights blocking the doors. Bottom floor. Oh, wait, can we go out the front entrance now? That's one of them, yeah. We're we'll use the front entrance. Can we just leave now? Here's the power thing. It's missing a battery. Okay, we need a battery for this. So we need that box down so we can grab that thing that's on this pillar. Damn, no items? Oh, what? The bridge is gone? Man, just like on a little island? That's <laughs> great. Damn, no items out here? Okay, so this floor is done. Where's the last night statue thing? Oh, it's up here. To the right. Uh... Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of rooms there. That's the third floor room. Okay. We might have to go where that painting is now. Let's see. Let me double check that red door. One more night statue thing. And I know there's one water motif door as well. Shit, there's bugs here now? Oh shit, no, that red door is the water motif one. So the only thing now is basement. And that was the locked door. What was that? That's where the train was. Is there a reason to go back there? There was this red door here. That's kind of messed up. And on the third floor, on the clock tower. This is where we are right now. Yeah, I think these... Uh, yeah, this is where the knights are right here. Okay, we have to run for it. Okay, so this is the third night room. So the front door, that room on the side, and this door. So we're good in night rooms now.
Oh, cool. Giant telescope. This door is locked. No keyhole. Puzzle? Maybe some astrology. Three fundamental principles of the Umbrella Corporation. Oh, what? I know one of those slabs was on top of that pillar, so I guess we need all three. Interesting. Obedience, discipline, unity. Alright, so we don't go here till way later then. Way, way later. So we have to go to that spider room. The only other door now we haven't explored is way back at the starting. I don't remember what that door even said. I guess we can go back and check it. It's not even far, so... Please don't get hit. Oh, you piece of shit. Got damaged. You can go, it allows you to go back though. That is suspicious. But I have no key items to open the door if I had it. We cleared out this room too. We lost so many shotgun shells here. No, I'm not lost. I know where I have to go, but I want to check this last locked door. Oh, I can't even go there. I see. We need a fire extinguisher. Okay. So the only place we can go now is where those spiders are. That spider is. Just jump, bro. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can climb. There's a lot of things I can do, but no. Billy doesn't know how to read, or he doesn't know how to jump as well. Fortunately. But that's okay. You can take hits. Okay, should I grab the... Yeah, I'm grabbing the rock launcher. Fuck this. Or grenade launcher, I mean. Blasting that spider. I'm gonna get poisoned. Oops, no. Shotgun. Alright, I'm loaded. Let's go. Just don't miss. Just don't miss, Billy. Yeah, he is strapped, bro. Did I hit myself? No, I'm still fine. But I definitely missed. Uh, Buster, which RE game are you going to try to get A rank on? None of them. I just love playing them. I love watching speedruns on them. I like to play these games nice and slow and methodical. And I like playing them on hard. But I don't... If I didn't have a million games to play, I would love to play them and get, you know, different ranks and experience that too. But we got a million Resident Evil games to play, so... Piece 
piece of sheet. Where's the aim assist? What? Stupid spider. RE5? Yeah, that might be fun. Damn, dude. I gotta avoid some of these spiders. There's just too much ammo being used. Hmm. Hey, thanks, James. Appreciate it, man. And thanks for stopping by, bro. All good. Correctional Institute inmates list. <gasps> this could be me, guys. Matthews K. Deceased. Keith preserves as a specimen. Any names we recognize? Oh wait, we were one of them, weren't we? I see no Billies. Is that gonna be the last name? Arclay Laboratory. Oh, did they want to transfer Billy for an exper- They wanted to use uh, experiments on inmates? That'd be cool. I don't see Billy's name though. It says disposal complete on a lot of these guys. That's sick. What the hell is with this dungeon? Oh, more blue herbs. That's good. Uh, oh, there's another ink ribbon here, so it probably wants us to save. How many ink ribbons is that, though? Wow. And I need to grab these herbs, too. Fudge. Okay, we have a lot of saves now. If it wants me to save here, we probably should. In case we get soft locked. I was kind of hoping it would only give me one ribbon, so it wouldn't take up the inventory space. I mean, I guess I can put it down. Just drop them from now? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Flames flicker mysteriously in the air. Oh my god, is this where they ran the experiments? Man, some of this, like, room design looks amazing. Okay. So it wants us to go this way. I don't see any other items. What? You can't reach it by yourself? No! Okay, I'm gonna grab, what, two items and a shotgun. An ink ribbon, yeah, I'll just... Okay. Grab the shoddy. Two items, ink ribbon. Right. The good shoddy, not the shit one. Waste of shotgun shells, that piece of shit. Nine nine pounds. That's why she runs so fast. So much faster than Billy. Cheeks.
Yeah, I, I, I didn't kill that one because I saw it on the wall, so I didn't want to waste the grenade launcher ammo. Hello, Rebecca. This way. Okay. Shit. Has to be her. Cheeks. Why is it Billy Stone her shot? That's what I was thinking. Okay, I need the damn grenade launcher then. Damn, I should have brought the other rounds then. Oh, man. I didn't screw up and, and have the wrong pistol on her, did I? This is the stars. Got him. Okay, good. Uh, fudge. Maybe I'll give him the pistol. I definitely need that grenade launcher. Just gets it to fight a boss or something. Man, I have like no ammo. Well, I guess we're just gonna find out what the hell is back here. Screw it. Yeah, the ink rib is on the floor. What the hell? Die, Rebecca, please. I'm almost there. Well, I'm glad I could be of service. Time to go inside. No, I'm not playing Diablo Immortal. What the fuck? I'm glad it's on PC, though. That was a really good choice by Blizzard. But I don't give a shit. <gasps> Torture porn. Blizzard made a, their own joke about that, Qual. They said, in case you guys don't have phones, that's what they said. Now on PC. I mean, there's some cool things in Immortal, but... But, nah. I just like Diablo 2, bro. Diablo 2 is too sick. And I'll never be able to play Diablo 4, but that's okay. Yeah, you gotta- exactly, you gotta hold that L. What choice do you have? Torture device. Damn, this is crazy. What the hell do these torture devices have to do with, uh... Like, with experimenting on the... What's it called? Like, the T-Virus. Like, what the hell does this have to do with that? See if zombies get off it. Like, it seriously makes no sense. The power regulator. Due to the recent lightning strike, the power uh, regulator continues to be inoperative. It wouldn't really matter about the power except for the fact that the boiler room equipment is on the same grid. Oh no, the boiler room. The equipment is so run down, I'll probably have to... Have it fixed up all, all the time. If you wish to exit rapidly, set the indicator to 70. Check first, though, that everything is connected to the chain. Oh, God. 70. Okay. Oh, there's a regulator right there. Anything else to explore? What's this door? Seems to be locked. It's locked. What do we got here? Flip the switch? What is it at right now? Isn't it at 70 right now? 
Oh no, the wrong things are summoning. It's reminding me. Well. I'm just guessing. Because it's going to be a brute force puzzle. Puzzle God. Uh, wait, what was the first door that opened? I didn't even see. Damn it. Guys, what was the first door it showed? Shit, I wasn't paying attention. I was feeling myself. Oh, the exit door? Okay. You are wasting your time. Okay, hey, thanks, Quan. I have already <gasps> claimed Vega. this place for myself. Which means you are trespassing. And I am very territorial. <laughs> I thought this was a good guy, guys. <gasps> what the fuck is that? What the cheeks? That's bullshit. Holy fuck, Unger. What the hell now? It just doesn't make sense. Do you honestly believe this to be the real identity of that crazy young man? Hey, is that William? Impossible. But if somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. <laughs> Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the Ooh. mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Foreshadowing. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I'm confused though. Is why does Vega not look like Marcus? Isn't that Marcus? Why is he young and shit? That makes no sense. Well, where the hell is she? She's at the front entrance. Well, let me switch characters. Oh yeah, the door opened, right. Oh wait, then I should have gave him the g Oh god. What the fuck?! Did you see that, Qual? The ape must escape. Okay, we need the right pistol equipped. We do. Oh, cheeks! Did I get poison from that? I swear to god if I did. Wow, look at all the pistol bullets! Just stacks on stacks! I've never seen that before. Like, triple stack like that before. What the hell? What's that sound? What the cheeks, man? The fuck cheap shot shit was that? Oh, hell no. Fuck these camera angles. I swear to god, that guy hit- oh, I'm still fine, Billy's a beast. Not examine.
Watch the aim is the the guy on the floor. Shut up! What other items are in here? So far these Molotov items have been useless. Oh, there's shotgun shells here too, fudge. Molotovs are goat though? I haven't found a use for them yet. Oh, there's two of these idiots here? Don't tell me I have to clear the room. That's why they gave me so much ammo? You see, can see right behind She looks like she could fall at any moment. You got to save her before it's too late. Oh, so you have to fight them. Well, fuck, because I have a pistol. There's no way. Dude, this game... This game fucks you so hard. If you don't know what's next. This game can literally softlock you so many times. I think you missed something in the cutscene. I missed the door being unlocked. Zero. Maybe I did miss something, I don't know. Back scene it allowed? Mm, not if it's spoilers. Oh man. Well, we just saved recently, so... Oh shit, did I miss that map? I did. Huh? The door is open, you can run out and avoid them? Well, no, I, ca I came in from that door. I'm trying to save Rebecca. One of the best RE games? Man, that's what we were just talking about. But like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, hey, you gotta lift Rebecca into the vents. You're like, okay, well, if Rebecca's the one going, then I better put my best weapons on her, and then the game fucks you by making Billy be the one that has to, you know what I mean? So like, it fucks you so bad, like. <laughs> I guess when you play hard mode, you have to like, uh, what's it called? Uh, you have already played the game once, so you would know. Anyways. Uh... Just grab the shotgun, I guess. Where I want to grab here. I just think the game just cheat shots you a lot.
This way. Okay. Nothing else here either. Oh, yeah, there's my inventory. So I guess Rebecca grabs the ribbon. And Billy keeps the grenade launcher, I guess. Or no, I'll give him the shotgun because we only have shotgun shells. So I'll do it like this then. And he has the pistol. Got the shotgun shells. More ribbons. And a ton of pistol bullets. I'm almost there. Well, I'm glad I could be of service. Time to go inside. <gasps> and then, like, then the Uh, what's it called? Spencer Mansion. It looks soft compared to this mansion. Becca was in the other mansion. She probably didn't even care. There's no items in here, right? Oh, there's the note. Okay, this time when I see the cuts and I won't feel myself, I'll pay attention. this place for myself which means you are trespassing and I am very territorial So it doesn't want me to go where those three uh, monkeys are? I gotta go down to where that boiler room is instead? Alright. So what was the point of, like, that room then? Just to screw you over if you decide to go that way? Like, it, it gives you, like, three stacks of pistol ammo, like, it's, like, insinuating that you need to kill them to help her, uh, bring her back up. 
Waste ammo? Yeah, it's... It's odd. I can see why someone else would die there. Just the cutscene and unlock a new area in the map? Yeah, but like, why would there be three monkeys in that room is what I'm asking. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's just very strange. Like, like I said, it, it says like he sees he's. You can even say, "Hey, she's down there," and you can you need to help her. But it's like, I got, from how I interpreted it was like, "Hey, you gotta kill these guys first. If there was like, if they gave me no ammo, maybe I would have thought otherwise. But it's okay, whatever. I mean, it does it does show you the boiler room, like, uh, you know going down and shows you and I know where that is too so it's like it's either way it's a very small like nitpick I'm gonna drop this off too Finally, this clown gets up. I was waiting for that. What was the other way on this path, too? Oh, yeah, the ladder that leads upstairs. To that third floor. Hey, there's heels here. Space to grab one. And a blue one, wow. And the blue herbs like candy. Damn, they took it three shots? I didn't mean to shoot that one. I'm still fine? Wow. What a beast. Pistol bullets? This seems to be the way. Do you have a time limit to, to get Rebecca? Rebecca! Damn, just in time. You don't think so? Thank you. Don't mention it. Just keeping my word. 
We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember? That's true, Billy. You did say that. This is Rebecca. Over. Rebecca. This is Enrico. Only... Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. <laughs> um. Rebecca, answer me. No, sir. I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him. Over. Rebecca. She lied. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh well, I probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? 24. I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. That's a personal question, Rebecca. It was around this time last year. <laughs> oh, flashback? That's amazing. Our unit was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Whoa. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. What the? But the hideout was far away from our entry point. <gasps> Died from the heat. Others were killed by the enemy. <sighs> In the end, only four of us survived. Only, there was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Oh damn, Tom Cruise? Get rid of them! Kill them all! Please, sir! Cease fire immediately! Shut up! Ugh. Whoa! What kind of... What? These guys are out of control! Do it! Holy shit! No! Don't! Stop! Well, that was dark. Did you execute those innocent people? Forget about it. Doesn't matter anymore. That was then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you. But Sounds it like you are, matter. Rebecca. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. Isn't that right? You're wrong, Rebecca. You don't get it. I've only got two choices left either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all. Damn. Oh my god, more ink ribbons. Okay. We're getting turbo ink ribbons right now. Turbo. And a little bit of heals. I, I still can't believe I'm in fine status. I got hit by those damn monkeys a million times, but Billy's just, I don't know, he's Wolverine. Not just yet. Games be like, save. Yeah, I'm like, the game is like, hey, look, we're gonna soft lock your ass. You better save, you know? Billy's killed 23 people. You think monkeys can hurt him? That's true, but I don't know. Those other enemies, those bug enemies, were doing so much damage to me. Those monkeys do nothing. Change these. Okay, at least I cleared that room out. It looks like it's a puzzle room, so. It'd be annoying as fuck if I didn't clear it out. Because we have so many pistol bullets now.
No amount of cunning can match the speed of my supple limbs. Oh no. Super puzzle. I danced freely through the air, capturing a legless prey. I stand tall on the earth, with horns proudly displayed. I creep on my victims in the legless silence and conquer. Damn snakes, even the mightiest of kings with my poison. The strong prey upon the weak, the law of the jungle. I am the king of all I serve. It. No creature can escape my grasp. This is it a wolf? My sharp wits allow me to bring down even the greatest horned beast. Okay. What's this door say? Six souls imprisoned within the chains of death. Rekindle the flames of life from the spirits of the weak. Rekindle, you say? Hope I don't do this in a certain order. Oh, I think you do. It was the scribe and even king's shit. Hope they don't have a limited fuel. That's a cool puzzle, though. Okay. That will stop the flames from me. Let me explore the rest of this area before I do this puzzle. Uh, this is where the heels were. Or was it? What's her inventory space right now? I almost want to go back to the main hall just so I can drop off items. But that kind of forces you to use uh, Billy too, because if you're, for whatever reason, if you like playing Rebecca, you'd be like, oh no. What? Were both our inventories were full? I don't really like combining the green herbs. Okay. Let me check this room again. I haven't been to this room in a while. Fuck that room. Why is it like the useless rooms have the monkeys in them? No! Oh, you piece of shit. Did she get damage from that? That's bullshit! I literally saved her and I, she still took full damage from that. This game needs a balance patch. Well, I guess now she can use that fucking heal. Now. Honestly, we should put the blue herbs in the, the room with the pitcher. There's the rest of those ink ribbons. What's the point of that hook shot, dude? We have that hook shot like the whole game. Shit. Yeah, 
Let's drop off these blue herbs in the other room. They're taking up too much spawns. I'll check it out. Okay. Not oh, the shit. Hello. What? How the hell is that grab the hook shot rather than the Okay. spot. Nice. Okay, my next inventory room will be here, I guess, at the steps. Can you put the items on steps, though? No, can, there are no steps there. This is so crazy, man. Putting the items in a different room. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, though. Oh, man. Dude, we should put the stupid shotgun there, too. We're never gonna use that item again. Grab this shit shotgun. I don't need space. Perfect. My second stash spot. Created. Out the optimal place to dump your items. Yeah, and I'm screwed because my first playthrough, so I'm not gonna know what the hell comes next. I'm just screwed. Got a mixture of heals and stuff. Oh man. We saved up a lot of uh, ink ribbons, but now I feel like we're using them non stop now. Can we call this game Resident Softlock? Like I said, at least I remember the controls. Overwatch 2 is DOA in my opinion, done with Activision and their BS. I dropped Cyberpunk, the gameplay is just too weak. At least they're still updating the game. But man, it feels like that game came out years ago now. Hey, what's up, Qua? Two more days, Qua. Two more days. Two more days. Qua, I'm thinking we should bum rush the game, like speedrun styles, and go absolutely ham. Like, kill the game in a week ham. I'm already researching. I know what to do. Anyways, where am I in this game? You can't. Don't worry. I'll show you guys the way. So we have our pistol, we got our shotgun. Oh yeah, we have new grenade launcher rounds. I'll get her to pick it up too. So we gotta start using these pretty soon. And I grab that Rebecca. We have so much fuel but no mollies. I feel like we haven't missed any items either. 
And we got a spare heal. Knives suck. We need to clear out this other area. What's that green item up there? Oh yeah, that's where we have to go anyways. And what did we do? What key item did we unlock? We had the sword things. I think we restored some kind it's of power. It's oh, there's a oh yeah, there's that puzzle. There's a puzzle we didn't complete. All right, I kind of know what to do. Welcome everyone. How's everyone doing? Yo, snack bro. Thanks for the one seven. Appreciate it. What's up, Bunky? How's everyone doing? We were just talking about how. Activision lost 50 million active players for Call of Duty. And it looks like skill-based matchmaking is finally reaching its limits. I mean, I don't know if it's skill-based matchmaking why they're losing players, but it's definitely one of them. Because streamers are hating it, and people like to follow what the streamers are playing. Finally getting the burnt out on it. Operate this now. Yeah, only one inventory spot. Where are my health? Okay, we're both healed. That's good too. So I wasn't pleased on my second last save or whatever. I got hit too many times. I wanted to restart, but. We died so many times last night, we had to keep on going. Yeah, I'm gonna have to read up on a bunkie, because it's really interesting. Uh, but yeah, people are people are leaving. Which is not good, because... Uh, Borzone is a free-to-play game, and when people leave a free-to-play game, it is devastating. It is very devastating. It's amplified. Okay, so we came from that door. Came from the stairs. Did I check everything in that save room? Oh, never mind. Went to the wrong door. That's the puzzle door. Let's check these other two doorways before I do this puzzle. Anyone playing Diablo on Thursday? Let me know. I gotta ask you guys a million times today, so I know it can get the soldiers together and we can get a big group going. So we can level up faster. I love the detail in these areas, man. So good. Just a scene. So I believe this other door is gonna lead us back to the mansion, some kind of door that was locked. You don't play that? It's all good. Just wonder if there's anyone around. What is this creepy new room? Uh-oh. We might have to go to the puzzle first. Yo. Okay, let's do the puzzle first. This room has enemies and stuff. Did the Diablo Immortal, John? I gotta say, it actually looks very interesting. Looks interesting. Are they finally coming out with a new good Diablo? Well, Immortal, a lot of people are now interested in it because they announced coming for PC, better graphics and a better HUD, and you can use mouse and keyboard. So people are very pleased with that. Diablo 4, once again, I have no interest because uh, I know I won't have time to play it because of Street Fighter 6. I dance freely through the air, capturing a legless prey. Okay, so this guy counters the snake. I stand tall on the earth, with horns proudly displayed. 
no one encounters him. Or he doesn't encounter anybody. I creep up on my victims, legless silence, and conquer even the mightiest kings. He counters the king. I think this is the king. I am the king of all I serve. Yeah. Okay. My sharp wits allow me to bring down even the greatest horned beast. Okay, that's the guy that stands on the hill. And... No amount of cunning can match my speed. Limbs. The only thing is I don't know which goes first. Let's, let me check it. Does this give me a hint? Six souls imprisoned within the chains of death. Rekindle the flames of life from the spirits of the weak. No amount of cunning. Cunning. Is there someone that says cunning? Horns. This is the king. It says, no creature can escape my grasp. Maybe that's the one that counters the horse. Okay. Once again, I don't know the who I start with. That's the issue. Do I start with going from the bottom to the top of the food chain? Okay, well, let's start with this one. Let's see what happens. We'll start the horse. No amount of cunning. But then this one says wits. Oh, but it says Horned Beast on top of that. So it can't be Wits. Because I have... Oh, in front of it. Oh wait, is anyone- oh fuck, no one counters the bird then, so maybe the snake is last. Wait, which was this one say? You know, horns probably displayed. This one has no- seems to have no counter either. Oh, maybe I should read the thingy? Oh, no, never mind. There's no extra thingy there. So I got this has got to be wrong. Yeah, it restarted. Okay. Let's see if there's any other hints I need to read that tell me who's first. I'm a zoomer and can never, uh, never understood the appeal of Diablo. It's just a really, really good old school action RPG, dude. It's like part nostalgia and part like hardcore. Like the game has like archaic mechanics that are very appealing. It's like a, just a hardcore kind of game. It's like. Getting wealth in that without using trading sites and stuff can be difficult. And finding items 
is very rare and there's a great amount of different areas to farm for different things and a great variety of different builds for different uh that are good at different things like it's just a very solid game that hasn't changed much in like the last 20 years and it's like it's kind of like mvc2 where it's kind of like this uh anomaly of of imbalance that just turns out to make it fun i don't know it's hard to explain unless you grew up playing it what's up stone what's up rashido it's a banger it's a banger it's a harukin banger it's also like eight players and yeah i don't know it's just a fun game finding a, a burr or a job for the first time in d2 is insane yeah it's like it's like the items feel like really heart rewarding when you actually find them it's really cool and people like trading too there's a lot of things there's a lot of things to it man a lot of things we shield thanks for the two five man says doria yep once again guys i'll just keep saying this like every 20 minutes but if there's anyone in the chat that wants to play diablo with me on thursday let me know because we'll run a big group here but we'll kind of be like half ass speed running though just so you know uh okay so my problem once again is i don't know who starts all i know is this guy's uh doesn't seem to counter anyone because he just says i stand tall on the earth he has height and this bird counters a snake but no one seems to counter the bird i dance freely through the air So maybe you just pick one, and then you pick who they counter, maybe? I don't know. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still confused on who I start with first. There's gotta be something I'm missing, not understanding. No amount of cunning can match the speed of my supple limbs. And this one says Wits, but it clearly says he counters uh, Horn. My sharp Wits allow me to bring down even the greatest Horned Beast. Or maybe I'm getting mixed up because Antlers are not Horns. Or are they? There's no one else with Horns. Am I going to do level 99? Probably not. I don't have that much time. But I'm going to have fun with it for at least a week. Hmm. There's no other hints. There's a total of six. And the door gives me the hint. I guess I'll try this again. Still don't know these two, man. God. Horse. Oh, it even says horns, right? To remind me. Okay. But, once again... Okay, who counters the horse, though? And who... Damn. Sorry, guys. This one's really... I'm having a really hard time figuring out the first one. Okay. We know the bird counters the snake. We know... The wolf counters the deer. And we know this guy counters who does he counter? King of all I survey. No creature can escape my ground. Maybe he counters the horse. 
Because he says it can escape. And this one says can't match my speed. But then who does he counter? Yeah, the like the wolf says that, but look, he says greatest horned beast. Like it's so blatantly saying he counters the deer. That's that's my problem with the wits and cunning part, like you guys are saying. Do I want a hint? No, I don't want a hint. I'm just like talking out loud. I do not want a hint. Right now I'm still like I think the king counters the horse. Now I'm stuck on who counters the bird. I don't think anyone counters the bird. So I'll go... Oh, let me think this through. If I start with this... But then I don't know... Oh, God, dude. I keep running into the same problem, right? I don't know who goes last and I don't know who goes first. The, yeah, the bird counters the snake. I don't know who the deer counter is. And I don't know if the horse counters anyone. I don't think anyone counters the wolf either, right? This puzzle, man. Yeah, I like I like that it's tough. I like I understand the puzzle, but I don't know where to start. So the bird counters the snake, the king probably counters the horse, the wolf counters the deer. So the only ones that I don't know what they counter is I don't know what the deer counters, if anything, and I don't know what the horse counters, if anything. Oh wait. Maybe the horse counters the wolf, though. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, if the horse counters the wolf... Now I just gotta think of the order. The horse counters the wolf. But no one counters the wolf, right? So maybe we start with the deer then. So let me go through this. So I go deer. Oh wait, maybe the wolf is last though. Hold on, what's the point to see here? We'll go wolf. Then he counters wolf. Where did I go? And then king. Because no one could escape his grasp. And then the snake beats that. And then LMS is the bird.
Puzzle God. Puzzle God. Puzzle God. Hmm. That was a good puzzle. I wasn't paying attention to uh, the wolf and the horse saying uh, cunning and wit. And once I figured those two out, the only one, like, it seemed obvious to start with the deer because no one, he didn't counter anyone. So that, that led me to which one was first. It's kind of weird though, why would... Why would the, the horse... Yeah, why would the horse beat the wolf though? Wouldn't a wolf decimate a horse? Wolf can't catch him, but that's not the same thing, though. Just because, like, all these are prey for another prey for the weak, right? So, how does a horse prey on the wolf being weak? It's not the wolf chasing the horse, it's the horse would be chasing the wolf. One, one solid kick from a horse would take his head off? Yeah, probably. Probably, yeah. Anyways, that was a good puzzle. It was tough. I had to really focus on the words. I don't want bottles. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. More like a wolf goes after the horse, but the horse wins. I guess that's what they were trying to... to say. Is that one of the slabs, finally? Unity. What was it? It's obedience, discipline, unity? Should put away the shotgun. We'll leave this here and then because I'm gonna I don't need the heal. Let's leave the bullets. So I'm gonna come back and I'll grab it. So I need to come back to this area. Would I rather fight off a wild wolf or a wild horse? Those would be both very bad. Very, very bad. You would probably have a better chance against a horse, though. Since a wolf is, like, literally a predator. And he's designed to take you down. <laughs> I miss games with written exposition, like the sheets are stained with blood. It's usually in a lot of survival horrors, yeah. I think it's just because, like, they try to make games now nowadays make you do less reading. Because it's like, oh, it's boring. So they have, like, so much voice acting and telling you things, you know? What's up, Cron? We just started, bro. We just solved the puzzle. It was good.
I'm gonna drop the shotgun. And let's mix some more of these mollies. so we can save space. There we go. Now we have a lot of extra space now. I guess we can give her the heal too. We should have tons of space now. Be right back one second. Alright, I'm back. We had a couple house showings today. One family is like, your house is so big. I'm like, too big. Leave while you can. No, I didn't say that. I was thinking that. Don't fall for the same trap I did. Is this an all kill run? No, that was last week. This is an all skill run. <laughs> Billy's tats is what gives him extra armor, bro. I'm surprised no one even mentioned uh, the Sakura Blanca in Fortnite. Why is no one talking about that? Come on, guys. Don't you guys read the news? You guys are a bunch of downers, man. Those are some sick skins. And it gives me more... Uh, Sub notification content. The Sakura dance is great. Yeah. Oh yeah. Blanca confirmed in Street Fighter 6. Sakura confirmed for Street Fighter 6. Oh nice. I finally got a crit. Guys, I swear I haven't seen a crit since the damn train. not expecting drip blanca oh my god bunky i want to ban that that word from the stream drip i hate that word so much now <laughs> that word got absolutely decimated in like a week's worth of time if fortnite had jury next oh dude that would be an omen that would suck management trainees diary what is it that director marcus is researching all the time and what's with his weird interest in leeches <laughs> What is with his weird interest in leeches? Seems more like love at times. Rumor has it that there's something dangerous about those leeches. It is true that when Dennis just touched one, he got ill with a fever. And again, today. There are those horrible moans beyond that door. Let sleeping dogs. No way I'll go near them. Even if the director ordered me, I don't want to end up like Dennis. That poor bastard. Scratching and scratching makes me itch. Just just watching him <laughs> youtube comment must maybe go if but what damn it really is a youtube comment dennis gone i go hungry help mom unsubscribed Guys, can you explain when somebody unsubscribes from you, why do they always have to tell you? Like, why don't they just unsubscribe and then just move on with their life? Why do they have to, like, say it in the comments? 
Does someone explain to me why? They want to have the last word to feel better? 1000%? Yeah, that surely showed him. They want to rub it in. So like, if I replied to him and I said, no, please don't go, they'll get off on that shit? They'll have like both their hands in their pants as soon as I say that? They want to make you feel a loss. Yep. Interesting. I should experiment. A double perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are funny. No, don't go. Wait, there's nothing in this room? I killed those two zombies for nothing? What? I'm not willing to ex- I mean, I guess there was that note. Damn, there really was nothing in there. Thanks for the sub, bro. <laughs> uh, do I have amnesia? Oh wait, we don't even need to go where the spiders are. So, what was the point of doing this puzzle? Oh yeah, we got one. This they got the slab. Sorry, my train. I thought it, man. Much 5G. Oh, I just went the wrong way. Wrong door. So I have to ask you guys again for the millionth time. What are we playing in June? These nuts? Or Catcom Collection? I think I'll play whatever is more popular. Like, if everyone's playing Darkstalkers, then I'll release the Sasquatch. You know? If everyone's playing these Nuts, then I'll play whatever's cheap. Damn, two Spooters? I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, guys. We'll probably check out both. I'm just curious what you guys are like. Really want me to play, you know? item is that? Is there anything else here? Nope. Well, if these guys are distracted, maybe I can, like, run for it and not get hit a million times. Oh! Cheeks! Locker key. I don't remember a locker being locked. Let me examine this. Key to a locker. Damn. Yeah, I don't remember a locker at all. Resident soft lock. What's this? Damn, look at all that ammunition. Unloaded on the floor. Acid rounds. It's effective against living things. It's a banger. These nuts do because I'm an banger. anime fan. It's a Haruken banger. Guys, thanks for all the subs today. Warren, thanks for the 1-4. Appreciate it, guys. Cool. Mm-hmm. 
You know, I was checking out some stuff though on these nuts that you guys kept on telling me the Inquisitor character. But I don't know, I kind of more interested in that in that chick that throws that dragon on you. She looks more annoying than her. But maybe I'm underestimating that stupid wheel. Control panel here. Press a button. Don't touch. Damn, look at all the guns. These guns have been taken apart. Parts and gunpowder lie scattered all over the place. Yeah, but ooh, come on, I'm in the military. I can put these together. They all look pretty beat up. Damn. MP5, got an AK in there. Oh, shotgun shells, let's go. It looks great. I heard it's footsies, bro. We'll see. That th oh, here's the locker. A lot of things can change, you know, in a month. So we'll see what kind of news we get for Street Fighter and all that. We'll see how busy I am, you know? But I think starting June, it's going to be good times, man. Plus, remember, I'm moving, too, around that time. So that'll be sick. All right. Let's grab this case. Don't tell me this is locked, too. Oh. This combination. Looking closely, you notice the number is 385 written in the corner. Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? It gives me the cold? Uh, what was the point of that? Was that literally a Resident Evil 8 puzzle? They must have changed it. Like, in development. Handgun parts. Wow, there's handgun parts in this game? Scope and scope mount. Equipping these on a handgun will greatly increase the gun's firing precision. And once again, Billy's pistol is better, right? So I should combine this with Billy's pistol and not Rebecca's uh, star pistol. Put it on the shotgun. This isn't Persona. Wow. hit the target's weak point. Can I disassemble it? No, it looks like it's a one-time thing. The thing is, we didn't get any key items from here. Oh, look at that shelf. You see that glowy thing there? Whoa. Spoilers. Magnum rounds. That's spoilerinos. Why don't they take all the guns? Because these guns are all broken, apparently. Let's press left. What? It showed like a million different things happening at once. Is my inventory full already? Good thing I cleared it up, man. I anticipated this madness. Man, they expect you to just have Rebecca and Billy together through the whole game, and you use her like a mule. Like... They, they don't... Like, they don't care about planning ahead on how many items the player will have in their inventory. Like, they're ruthless. That seemed to be, not to be good. Oh, you know what? I probably need Rebecca here to manipulate it as I go forward. Shit! Uh... Two-person puzzle? Yeah, I just realized. And spoilers. I don't like spoilers, guys. Drop that healer. Get down 
Let's see. Is this game the suck? <laughs> I don't know. You guys are really trying to to like convince me it's a bad game. It's just. I mean, there is some questionable things. This game would be the bomb if it was two players. Like, it would be the bomb. It would make way more sense if it was two players. No, it's just really hardcore, man. This game is just hardcore. Like, you can get soft lock. They really want you to use two characters throughout the whole thing. That's interesting. I mean, Remake... Yeah, Remake 1's the GOAT, but... This game is interesting too. Not a long. Was it released a long remake? I see. One thing I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to start making sure both characters have adequate ammunition for things. Because I got screwed over last time, so I got to be careful. So I'll keep the grenade launcher ammo close. People already went through uh, 1, 2, 3, Code Veronica, and Remake before playing this. It's quite quirky. Yeah, it's odd. I wonder if they did want it to be two players, though. Like I said, two players would have solved so many problems with the game. Automatically. this battle sequence oh hunters oh no do i only have a pistol on me oh cheeks oh it literally is the re1 hunter first i gotta see if i'm actually trapped in here i got no heals I am actually trying to fucking cheeks. Oh, I'm dead. It's Ripper on. It's fucking Ripper. Billy's a beast, maybe. Hopefully he's on the bottom of the screen. Yes, he's stupid! No! Oh, I'm not even lit yet. I could be in headshot range. Fucking aim assist! Fucking aim assist, dude. Ah, oh, God, man. It didn't activate. Resident Evil. I must have aimed Zero. too early. Should have went keyboard and mouse, dude. That was whack. I could have definitely survived. A hundred percent. Dude, that is so whack. Yeah, he did take a lot of hits. He did, dude. Like I said, that's the only reason why I could have survived, because Billy took so many hits. Dude, that is so fucking whack, man.
The aim assist is whack because it one, it screws you over by aiming at the wrong person, and then it screws me over because sometimes it just doesn't work. All right, we are really far back. We have to do that whole puzzle and everything all over again. That seems to happen a lot with this game, by the way. Getting fucked over. All right. Uh, we can put behind the bullets for now, too, because I need to pick up a bunch of stuff and bring it back. Good thing the stream was early. Yeah. I want to start the stream nice and early today. Matt, it's actually mind-boggling how many times you get fucked over in this game. Mind-boggling. Like, playing this game first on a hard is probably not a good idea. Because you're at a serious disadvantage of not knowing what's coming up. And you might have the wrong items in your inventory. And the funny part is like, okay, well, I can just keep a shotgun and a grenade launcher on Rebecca, right? And a, and a shotgun on Billy. You're like, okay, well, well, I'll always be prepared. But then there's so many fucking items in the game and you need so much inventory space. If I wanted to play like that, I'd be going at an absolute snail's pace, you know? Constantly running back and jump, uh, dropping my items off. Because the game's like trying to fill my inventory up all the time, you know what I'm saying? It's fucking crazy. It's an homage? What? Far away into the game, that's spoilers, bro. Anything else in here? Am I doing two trips? I don't think so. There's a lot of like uh, stuff uh, stuff you can examine in this game too, which is cool. Like they did write-ups for so many things in this game. House of the Dead remake around the corner. I'm hyped. When is it released, guys? I didn't get the crit. Twenty-eighth. Damn, bad luck. <gasps> I don't have my bullets on me, oh my god. Is there anything else here? Oh, I might have to restart. There was just that book, right? Or was there anything else? Yeah, I'm probably gonna restart. I'm just searching the room. No, it was just that book. Okay, so I don't even need to kill these zombos. Okay. Red
Resident Evil. Resident Zero. Zero. Like, can you guys tell me a little bit about the House of the Dead remake? Why you guys are so pumped for it? Like, what do they add to it that makes it good? Like, besides, like, you know, I can only look at the game and it looks like cheeks. So maybe there's something there they have on it that's really good. But I don't know. Like, why are you guys so hyped for it? Like, a railgun shooter is a really hard sell these days. This is the Sega game that's not Sonic or Yakuza. But, like, what do they have for replay value? I'm just curious. A new mode like what can you play co-op with your friend like is it online yo what's up alpha how you doing man Great watching a Smash tournament, but I got boring. Like DBZ boring. Who's Min Min? What's arms? Arms is a Switch Arena Fighter? Arena Fighter? some items here. Got my pistol ammo too. The 
this time. I don't know. What's up with the hook shot? Why have we had that item for so long? Okay, did she grab the grenade rounds? Oh yeah, we're gonna get acid rounds pretty soon. We got so pistol ammo, one heal. She's got a grenade launcher, pistol for absolute emergencies. We're gonna grab acid rounds pretty soon. Yeah, we need to leave this behind. Okay, this should be a good loadout. Come on, Roger. I could take the shotgun, but I'm confident I can kill those hunters this time. This game looks so good, yeah. I keep I keep mentioning that too, how pretty it is. I really wanted them to to do uh, RE1 remake again, man. There's some stuff they can touch up in that game too, as, as as amazing as that game is. They can fix some of the puzzles up, some of the less interesting puzzles up. They can uh make the crimsons more prevalent near the second half of the game. There's some things they can definitely touch up. But it is a near perfect game. Okay, I'm gonna leave her behind so we can do this one one by one because I I feel like Go alone. Roger. it'll be harder if she ch runs with me. I'm afraid the spider is gonna hit her when she's running. With me. Two hits that time. That was whack. Yeah, if you don't like bugs, you won't like RE0. This game has like a ton of creepy crawlies, man. A ton of creepy crawlies. That's where the bars are. Uh, Etrot's MIA. Maybe he's on vacation or something. I'm sure he'll pop up eventually. He'll kick down that door. You think he hates you guys? No. Etrot loves the attention too much. He's playing KOF.
Ooh, the acid rounds would be really good against them too. Maybe I'll use the grenade launcher temporarily. I still got two grenade shots in this bad boy. Still think I should use the pistol, but I'm gonna take some damage if I use the pistol too. Yeah, maybe we should go grenade launch for this. Am I able to put rounds? Okay, you are. Okay. Well, that solves that problem. Well, actually, let's put these two in here, so that way we can... Uh, free up an inventory spot. There were the Magnum rounds. Shotgun shells. Just watch, like, as soon as I kill those hunters, then. Rebecca splits up with me, and then she has no weapon. No grenade launcher, no shotgun. That's what I'm worried about. Maybe I should go with the pistol rounds, Bunky, maybe right. Are you kidding? Oh, this is with the water motif key. Cool. What are those? Those are hunters. You're back. Okie dokie. Alright. Uh... Is there something else that opened from the other cage? Another lead. Hello, Rebecca. Should I use the herb? No, not just yet. 
We got two greens. Want to make sure for reds. Give her back to raid launcher. Still got so many pistol shots. Should probably give her the shotgun. Come on, Roger. I'll check it out. Okay. I got, remember my blue herb stash that I have behind that painting? And that stupid useless shotgun? Run, Rebecca. Let's regroup. Okay. Man, the fact that your character automatically comes with you through the door, I guess in speed runs you'd want to like kind of rally point your character so you can go through the rooms faster with both of them. Like leave one at the door and then grab it or whatever. Seen all the art CGI art movies. I've seen most of them. They're okay. They just really like making Leon like John Wick for some reason. Okay, we should definitely save, boys. I, I sense another soft locking coming. Grenade launcher and the shotgun. No, she should probably should probably put down the shotgun shells and the pistol. Hmm. Just trying to think how I want to allocate my items here. Definitely drop off the pistol. Stay here. Yeah. Drop those 
shotgun shells, but it's okay. Okay, where's the ink ribbon? It's over here. So what did I put down? I put down the pistol and I put down the magnum rounds in the painting room. Gotta remember that. Shit, come on. Get this ink ribbon, Billy. Come on, Billy! Get the damn ink ribbon! Fuck it, I'm grabbing the knife so I can get this. I'll get the bottle too when I, uh... <sighs> ay 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 Holy cow, I can't believe that happened. Holy smokes. This game is so hardcore, even saving is difficult. You really need to space things better? Oh, so it's my fault! I see. Didn't manage your inventory well. Alright. Took a whole bunch of rooms this way. We saved, so don't have to worry about soft lock. Won't lose much time. Now Resident Evil 1 is godlike, dude. It's one of my favorites. One door for this key, hey? Man, we haven't seen those leech enemies in a while. Hopefully I didn't jinx myself. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me! The music really hit the fan. It went from 0 to 10, like, right away. <laughs> Where's Claw? Claw the fucking tune, dude. Oh, he's instantly aggro? I'm fucking screwed now. Someone was using these machines until very recently. What's up, Avon? Vise handle? What the hell's a Vise handle? Don't say a handle for a Vise. Check this tool. A tool will allow you to op. <laughs> what the hell is it? Is that for that stupid machine that we need the the bucket for or whatever? The gas or whatever? It has to be. Fucking cheeks. Those enemies are so stupid. Why? What happened, Avon? <laughs> Got rain made today. <laughs> Play the piano? Not right now. I don't feel like another leech guy coming. Can 
I go behind the counter? More mollies. Come on, there's like an entire bar about here. Look at how many wine balls there are back here. Dude, it could be Mo Molly Nation back here. Come on. Wait, Billy knows how to play the piano? How the hell does he know how to play the piano? If Rebecca is here, does she say something? What if she tries to play the piano? Does it say she can't play the piano? Because in Resident Evil 1, she's not perfect at it. Oh my god, look how many mollies we can make. Someone explain to me this plot hole. Learn to play piano with the Marines. Oh, there's a battery here too. Oh, we got lots of inventory space. Thank god. They kind of anticipated getting screwed over. So there's only one? Oh no, there's eight in here. Wow, the other one only had one? Because hmm. wine is inflammable? Yes, it is. That's what they have in Molly's. Isn't it? I heard red wine is even more flammable than white wine. And Willie, why are you using trash can 9000 account? They have liquor in Molly's. That's what wine is, is liquor. Does anyone know what happens when uh, Rebecca uses the piano here? I'm so curious. Shit's gonna hit the fan. I see there's, li there's literally a vent right here. Something's gonna fly down this vent as soon as I grab this battery. What the hell now? <laughs> Wait, what if I made Rebecca come into the same room with Billy? Well, I guess you could put the battery back in. I guess that makes sense. Ah, cheeks. Game really wants both characters to be together. And I gotta run by. Oh no, here comes the Toon Claw. Here it comes. <laughs> Fucking cheeks! Wait, what room is this? Shit, I didn't go here yet. I swear to god, that piece of shit hit me there. I thought she sucked at playing the piano. Uh-oh. 
She's pissed. Rebecca can't play the piano. Can't make this shit up, guys. Can't. Why don't you just put something in the door, man? Yeah, the piano needs the might of a man. <laughs> Was that really necessary? Come on. Roger. All right. You guys like that stereotype they have in movies where like <laughs> some the dude always whenever they see a piano, then someone always knows how to play it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't remember where the battery thing was. Where the hell was that? I know I saw it. Oh god. Oh wait, I remember where it is. It's it's on the main entrance. It's in the main entrance. We need to grab the second uh, thingy. Cheeks. All right. Can I drop anything off to you? Yeah, I give it. Give it the shit. Alright, stay here. I'll go alone. Roger. Two rooms here. I guess we'll go to this one first. Zombos. But I got super pistol. Damn, I shoot so fast. The aim skill. Shotgun shows? Shit, she has them. Oh, I can just drop them off to her, I guess. What else we got? Oh, there's the vice handle. But why would we need to use a vice? What? Oops. Oh, there was it was stuck in there. Okay. Cool. Obedience. All right. Okay. 
any more items in here? Oh, just got one more room. We still need uh, something to carry that that tank of whatever the hell that was that I found before. It's like the last thing besides getting that last tab with the battery. Oh, nice, more heals. Yeah, vice grip. Yeah, using a lot of workshops. Workshop, sorry. No herbs on me either. So we got two, technically two full heals here. So we have laboratory equipment. Oh my god, there's three items in here. Damn it, dude. She has the bottles on her too. Damn it, dude. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna get the hell out of here and get all these items without getting destroyed with this stupid slug enemy that has so much health on hard mode. It doesn't even seem like he can be killed. I can drop her off the shotgun bullets, I can drop her off that, and I can grab the two items. No! Fuck! <laughs> Wait, where's the door? Oh, did I screw up? Oh, he changed rooms. That's why I got so confused. He went to the next room. Or no, that's not even him. It's just a new one spawned. What the fuck? Okay, that's really bad. We probably have to use the heal just to get back. Take a beating. I guess I have to use one of those heals just to make it back. Yeah, I took two hits without realizing what the fuck I was. Oh my god, I dodged the hit. That was huge. Huge! No bottles here. I'm just like really paying attention to a bottle because of that gas tank thing. Once again, I don't remember where that gas tank even is. I think it's somewhere upstairs though. It'd be like glowing and shining though. Please don't get hit here. Please don't get hit. Yes. Now I gotta dodge this idiot. Fuck! This game makes me emotional. my health. 
I'm fucking one shot, so I might as well use this. Alright, now you're trying to get the hell out of here. She's closer than Billy was. Alright, don't get fucking memed, please. Fuck! Idiot standing right in a f You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. This fucking clown- <laughs> Sorry guys, this game pisses me off. This clown standing in a hallway that's like... Three inches wide, and I get double hit by this clown. This game makes me salty, dude. Come on. Roger. I don't even know if you can kill those guys, otherwise I'd send that guy to the next dimension. If I knew you could. Yeah, there needs to be salt. Exactly. All the salt I've amassed in this game. Okay, um... Oh wait, she doesn't have the Magnum rounds, he does? Can I grab that stack? Go alone. Roger. Like, I threw the mollies at them before, though, Azrael. It didn't seem to do shit on hard mode. It didn't seem to do shit. It made them change colors, though. But I couldn't kill the guy. It just took so many bullets. It was, like, ridiculous. Split up. Roger. How much more fuel do I have? Nine? Wow. How many mollies do I have now? Another problem with the, the slug enemies is like, even if I can kill them, they're so hard to dodge their attacks. They hit you from so far away. So it's like better just to run past them anyways. I got 12 of these bad boys. We gotta start throwing these things at someone. Damn grenade launcher and the shotgun shells, man. I guess she should grab the shotgun now. We have so many shotgun shells. Budge.
I really like, like I said, I really like the layout of this mansion. Because, like, they did a really good job, like, having it, a lot of it open up the beginning. And they have so many key items that need to go in so many spots of the mansion. Interesting. Because the way they did it with Resident Evil 1, it was kind of like a very small part of the mansion is open at the beginning. And it leads you to the garden house, then it unlocks the last couple of rooms at the end. But this is like, kind of like all at once, I feel. Uh, so I have to go all the way back upstairs to bring down the box. Don't tell me I need two people to do this. I better say, I already have a feeling something stupid is going to happen. There's a button at the battery. Did I not see it? Yeah, I remember the box above. I don't remember a button beside it, so. Oh, you mean this giant red button here that I didn't see? <laughs> oh, my bad. This giant red flashing thing on the screen. That was a weird sounding lift. This box looks heavy. Why didn't, like, Billy just boost Rebecca up to grab it? Uh-oh. Maybe I might need her. Now that I'm looking at it. Oh, shit. Depth perception. What? Okay. So there's that telescope room, and I still, like I said, the only thing I don't know now, the only loose end is that that tank. And I'm trying to remember where it was. That's the beginning. Where was that tank room? It's upstairs where the fountain is. Yeah, I don't remember where that tank room is. It's gotta be on the second floor, I think. Pretty sure it's on the second floor. Oh well, once we get the item we need, I'll, I'll probably figure it out. Okay, it's definitely save. I need to grab these tablets too. Grab the tablets. Oh, Rebecca throws them faster as already? Interesting. But my question is, is it three to kill each man on hard though? Or is that on normal?
take all my stuff? How can I take all my stuff, though? I have so much shit. There's, like, grenade launcher. I got magnum rounds, blue herbs. I got, like, a million things. I got, like, a million things, dude. Plus spoilers, yeah. Please don't spoil anything, guys. Let me just save, and then if I get fucked, I'll know what to do. Yeah, this is my first playthrough, guys, so... Please don't spoil anything. Yeah, especially the soft block spoilers. All right. All right, so I need to go upstairs. Well, we'll just see what happens. Resident soft lock. Oh, there's no puzzle on, on where you have to know where to put them? <laughs> I remember the order. Shit, I still have the ink ribbon on me. I didn't put it down. Whatever. What? What the hell? So I can't leave the door? Oh, you can't. You can, you can still go back, even though, it's submer even though it's submerged. Oh no, what the f- where the hell am I? And why is there monkeys there? Hmm. Oh, that's awesome, Zach. So the, the show finally started already? That's cool. You hear that, Avon? It's time. It's time for the awakening. Zach, are you gonna play Diablo with us on Thursday? Be right back. Okay, we're probably gonna play around 6 o'clock on Thursday. Zach, because that's when the servers start anyways. Just a heads up. I mean, I'll message you before the stream. And by the way, if there's anyone in the chat too that wants to play Diablo with us, let me know. On Thursday. So we can get a big crew. Let me know. Error 39? Yeah, we're gonna get it. It's gonna be huge. Creepy music. I hear movement. What is that? Are these bats enemies? with this creepy house oh what the hell everything's locked no keyhole electronically locked on hard it's four mollies dude four so it's literally not even worth it wait what 
shit, we need two people. Creepy ass back alley. No power. Everything's locked. I hope it's as fun as last time. We'll see, right? Depends what you guys are rolling and what we're doing. Get bum rushed here. These guys don't do too much damage. So. Oh, I know where I am now. There's no. Oh. We need two people, so. I should clear this hall. I know there's monkeys down this way too. The other hall, well, let's clear this room. You get knocked down, fuck. My nuts. Caution, what? There's too many, uh, narrow corridor areas in this game, man. Way too many. Yeah, I got sliced out, dude. I got sliced out like Wolverine. The damn ape escape. Got one more damn heal. I'm not gonna save though, just in case it gets even more hairy. I can play that better with a shotgun. Alright, what does Rebecca have? Shotgun. She can drop this shit. Oh, she can, okay. Okay, two cleared up inventory spaces. Definitely need to grab the heal. grab that on my first try. Let's regroup. Roger. Damn, we both have heartburn? Brutal. Where was it that changed? Shit, which door did I come through? This one? This looks like an outside door. Okay. So there, Micah.
I'll check it out. Okay. This way. Okay. Nope. You stay here. Okay. So we're in this, this creepy house. Oh, it's a church. A little chapel. There's an altar here. You can't help but sense something ominous about it. Of course. All points just lead to this door, hey? There's nothing else? Guess not. Most of it's, like, smashed. Wow, another inker. here? Just a save? I'm gonna make a separate save file. Gotta be a, a cutscene or something that happens here. We found nothing. Oh, of course. Wait, what? Whoa, that bat's huge! Holy shit, Castlevania! Oh, sick dodge, bro. How do you dodge it? Like, what the hell is this? Dude, this game has absolutely no chill. There's one thing though that maybe I'm, I could be wrong about is that maybe because I'm playing a hard mode, the items Zero. used to kill the bosses aren't in the room in hard mode. But on normal mode, they are. I don't know. I mean, there was a save there. I'll give the game that. There was a save there, but... It's really crazy how the game expects you to like have the equipment for the bosses beforehand like you just have to know and you can literally die because of it yeah i don't know if i'm in a good position to fight this boss but we'll see I think on normal there's extra grenade ammo in the save room coupled with shotgun ammo. Resident Evil. Yeah, that would Zero. make more sense.
I know for sure there's definitely less heals. Absolutely. Yeah, I was thinking that too, Bunky. I was going to check the door this time around. You are entering an insane world. That's cool. Oh, you can leave. You gotta be, you have to get something for killing it though. It'd probably be something stupid like he's gonna run into a wall and an item falls down that we need or something stupid like that. Doing this with pistol? Hell no. Doing with pistol? Hell no. Bosses in this game are on another level, man. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh no, the aim assist doesn't know which one to fucking aim at. Unreal. This camera angle, bro. Dude, this game is fucking nuts, man. How many shots does it take? Like, seriously, how many times? That was from full health. I shot him, like, fucking 12 times. And I had full health, and I died. Resident Holy shit. Zero. That was fucking ridiculous. That was so absurd. Not to mention I shot like every single shell because the aim assist goes crazy because of the ads. Holy cow, these are like the hardest Resident Evil bosses I've ever seen. By far. It's fucking insane, dude. What the hell were they thinking? <sighs> Spider boss can be skipped in one if you if you take your knife just to clear the door and then bounce. You don't even need the knife, Bunky. You can get the spider boss to destroy the door himself. And then you can just open it. You're like next level. Or 
Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm sure one of the versions was like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you have to make dodge it and then... Oh, man. This is brutal. This is fucking insane. Holy shit. At least the shotgun has like the stopping power to stop them from attacking you, unlike the pistol. Shit. Oh, I hit him too! I hit him! What? That was my bad though for that reload. Bro, I'm fucking losing my mind, man. Aim assist, guide me. Why would they... the aim assist in this game, man? It. Why won't it prioritize the boss? Watch, it's gonna knock over something. There has to be a reason for killing it. There just has to be. It looks like you could use something to get up there. Oh no, I need the hook shot? Oh, cheeks. I'll take back the shotgun. Might as well grab the ink ribbon too, so it's gonna grab the hook shot. That boss fight was just so brutal. Just so much ammo wasted from missing and shit. So ridiculous. I'm almost thinking of doing that fight again, man. The funny part is the bats hitting me helped. Because every time they hit me, they readjusted my aim assist. So fucking stupid. This game, make, this game makes me feel like I'm Arthur.
Oh, I should have brought the shotgun back. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? So I can give her the grenade launcher. Oh, let's combine those ink ribbons too. Oh well, let's give me an excuse. Let's give me an excuse to not save. Let me grab this. You can uh, still unlock the giant bat with five grenades, but it's kind of tricky to speedrun. Yeah, I can't imagine, dude. Like, if you, don't, if you don't have hit scan, you have to be in, like, a really specific spot. Imagine using mollies. The bosses in this game are ridiculous. They're just like absolutely ridiculous. Power switch. Yay. Oh man, another heal. Thank God I saved that green herb. Down here. Upstairs. What does this say? It's crazy. We're looking at another like big mini mansion. This game's got some cool areas. Someone was looking for something. Alberton 
William, like, going through Mark's shit. Oh, no, another ink ribbon? Marcus Diary, too. Page has been torn out. Trouble is unlikely, but I closed my babies up in a special capsule. I guess it's talking about his leeches. But it won't be safe if I hold it onto it myself. I'll hide it in that place. To hide a leaf, put it in a forest. To open the capsule, the special stripping agent is necessary. No way Spencer's lackeys could figure out how to make it. Stripping agent. save here. Oh, it's only one save. Gotta use it. I'll overwrite the second save stuff. This game's got some pretty good music overall. Some good ambience. Operating room. That's that room I think where that tank is. There must be an item I'm missing. I need that stripping agent or whatever. Or a container or something. Maybe I can use the hookshot here? Oh, you can. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I'm wondering if there's any other spots that are like that that I missed, maybe. Hold on a second. I want to see if it tells me something. Oh, shit. Damn it. I wanted to know if it, if it gave me a hint about that. We didn't read any sheets on those leech enemies on their weaknesses. It's ridiculous. I guess insinuating that I have to transport something up to the lab, you know, insinuates there's something above me. Why can't I grab this sheet on this chair? Laboratory manager's diary. Today, under Director Mark's orders, I changed the platform entry code. Later, I asked him what the source of the entry code was. He told me it was based on something significant in his children's growth. The Director's a loner. He isn't married, and he sure doesn't have any children. What does he mean? <laughs> the leeches. You guys remember that crazy word that I couldn't pronounce last night? It's like mammalian or something. No way. My favorite tune. How big this area is. I need to know if there's something behind it. Can't even tell.
Oh, cheeks. Can I close it? There's no need to press it anymore. Holy shit, man. This area is crazy. Another save? Hey, at least give me mollies. We're gonna use them for sure. But I only have three. Do those leech guys have regen regeneration? Or are they just really tanky? Are they like the pale heads from like uh, Resident Evil 3 remake? It's giving me a lot of saves. I'm gonna abuse them in this area for sure. Too high to jump down. Damn. Guess I'll grab this. By the way, guys, you know how, like, it showed that top point of view and I can use the hookshot to get up? Did I miss any secret ones so far? Because I'm, like, super paranoid about that now. Because that's, like, a new thing. Maybe I just introduced it now. But... Replenish with fresh bioorganic fluid. Did that hurt me? Barely. Leech growth records. Administered tea into four leeches. And the four is in red. Uh-oh. Their will to survive leads them to uh, parasitism and predation. Then they breed and multiply. Such a single-minded biology makes them attractive candidates for bioweapons research. Afterwards, no major changes observed. Seven days since administration of the tea, rapid growth of double former size, signs of transformation emerging, spawning successful. They double their numbers in one hour, but their ravenous appetite led them to cannibalism. Hasten to increase food supply, but lost too. Oh my god, it's, <laughs> it's one of those like grade two math puzzles. Uh oh. Provided them with live feed, but lost half when the live food fought back. However, the leeches are learning from experience. They're beginning to exhibit uh, group attack behavior. They're also ceasing cannibalism. Their evolution is exceeding expectations. The leeches no longer exhibit individual behavior, even when not feeding. They move as a collective, they consume everything I offer with remarkable efficiency. 
An employee has stumbled up, up onto my experiments. Can a human be a, a food <laughs> be a food source? How would the leeches respond? Uh oh. A day where the commemoration today they began to mimic me. They mimic him. Sure, they recognize their father. Wonderful children. No one will take you away. Holy cow. Okay, that was disturbing. Here. Yeah, there's one of those tanks. You'll need a container to carry it. That's the second time I've seen that. Oh, I think the red tank. Oh, yeah, this is the stripping agent or whatever. Okay, hold on. Let's see where this is gonna lead. Pumping gas into the room next door. The vice is empty right now. So I need a container to put in there. And there's nothing new on all new items here. Oh, we haven't went through this other door yet. Interesting. Looks like I'm finally gonna find what this container is. Switches. How many more bullets do I have left? Oh, we got a ton. Flashbacks. This game is ridiculous, dude. Holy shit. That's where hard mode gives you no headshots. Shit. They quick turn by accident there. Right, Menage a 12 pile. Decorated with a bust of Marcus. There's a space and some kind of object. No, I take it that's for that behind for that red door. Oh no, more reading. Investigators report. Dr. Marcus, co founder with President Spencer of the Umbrella Corporation, disappeared 20 years ago. The results of his research have been kept under wraps the entire time. The reason became clear here in the training facility by Dr. Marcus, well, not here exactly, but underground when we ventured below. We understood that we found evidence of Dr. Marcus' research into the T-virus prototype called the Progenitor. The evidence of years of hideous experimentation that used company employees as guinea pigs. We cannot know how many were forced to become subjects, but based on the evidence, no less than 20 individuals were involved. Some of them were taken deliberately to keep the corporation's secret safe. Where the doctor is now, I don't know, but considering the recent rapid growth of Umbrella Corporation, I can't help but think that this research is continuing. Yes, this experiment lives and continues to grow in the dark. Those things, the fruit of his research, they fill this facility. Some kind of weird object. Need a container. Okay. 
Wait, I didn't hit this yet. Send something to the reference room. Oh, it must be the container for that shit. So what's left now? I guess that, that part where I open up that leech dude. There is the save room. I guess we need to go back to the thingy. Is there other doors locked? I didn't get to check if there's fucking item there. You gotta be kidding me. Where the fuck is the door? Oh, there was something here. No, the container was behind him. Fuck. So there was an item there. So stupid. Doesn't even stun him either. How fucking stupid is that? What? Dude, this enemy is so fucking dumb. Oh, three mollies. The lid won't bulge, maybe some kind of seal, but some kind of special material. on the shelf? What, what did I miss? There's more? Oh, right. Good eye. Uh, I just got just enough space. Yeah, I completely missed that. Good eye, there's two items there, man. Fuck. That's the ink ribbon and the gas things on the side.
Okay, well, we have the green agent and we need, and there's a red agent. I think the red's the stripping one. We're gonna have to probably put into that chemical tube or whatever. Uh, I think we need Rebecca too to send the container to her. Let me see on her side. She has like nothing on her. And that other enemy is loose now on that opposite side. Let me check that other room first. Before I do something crazy. Okay, what does it say? Uh-huh, pumping gas. Why is it empty right now? That's it, hey? Okay, so what if I fill this bad boy up? Oh, maybe this is not the container I'm thinking about? Trying to think what. Obviously, I gotta send the container up. I'm just thinking why. We need that container upstairs. Whatever, let's send it through. Let's see what happens. I should go back and drop off that shotgun and pick up some more items. Because I don't have anything for Rebecca. This part's complicated. There's a leech guy there too. I love that song. Come on, did you play this on hard? This game is so ridiculous on hard. And if you don't know what's coming up next, you're so screwed. Man, even playing this on normal, you'd be screwed. Stupid leech guys are hard on normal too, yeah. It's just so dumb, like, you, you're so slow in attacking in this game. Which is okay, it's a survival horror, but at the same time, the leech enemies are so... Uh, they attack you from so far away, they're so hard to dodge. You get stunlocked to oblivion, and they're tanky as fuck. Yeah, you get, like, there's, man. <laughs> I can't believe how, like, you can non-stop get softlocked in this game. It's insane. It's actually insane, dude. This game makes you so paranoid to, like, save all the time, because you get fucked over. Like, you get cheap shot so often in this game. It's crazy, dude. Did, like, a completely different team make this game or something?
Okay, what's in this other room? I gotta remind myself what I put in here. Put the blue herbs, I put the other shotgun, and the magnum rounds. Anything else? The other pistol. And I feel like I should have a Magnum now in this game. That bad boss took so much ammo because I missed so many times. Like, good. I have a backup save. Like, if I just have to start everything all over again, at least I have that fucking backup save, dude. Oh, we got some mollies here, too. Well, at least now we have an excuse to use our 12 Molotovs. Let's see how fast Rebecca throws these bad boys, too. How is Zero so far? Do you like the other games? Do I like it? Oh, you're saying compared to the other games? I just love Resident Evil, dude, but this game is like... I just fucking love Resident Evil, man. But this game has a lot of bullshit. It's just a really hardcore game, man. This is hardcore. This is a tough playthrough. Yeah, Molotov management. I've never had my back to the wall so hard in a Resident Evil game before. Like, I feel like my back is to the wall. Like, I'm running super thin on resources. And heals, and I'm like... I've been playing the game so carefully, too, and I still feel like I'm getting fucked up, so... This game, in your first playthrough, you should definitely not play it on hard. Like, there are too many cheap shots, you have to know what's coming up next to prepare. I'm getting close to Jiro. That's right, I was ready. Damn. I'm running on fumes here. Oops, I should have dropped my ink ribbon. Put my ink ribbon down. Uh, well, I mean, we, now that we have these Molotovs, I'm not completely boned just yet. Almost, though. I wonder how fast Rebecca throws these mollies. I wish the aim assist was better in this game, though. Because the aim assist will lock on to their direction at the moment. But since there's, like, flying bats in this game and bugs that jump everywhere and shit, you have to readjust your aim assist. Uh, monkeys that jump around, too. You have to readjust your aim assist, like, a million times. I don't have time to throw a million mollies. How many do I have again? Twelve. And I have three. Three or six on Billy. Now that I've saved up so many ink ribbons up to this point, I have like nine left. I'm going to like rapid fire save the game now. Because the bullshit is, is getting crazier and crazier. L2 spam? You know what game has that? Like, where you aim spam? is Call of Duty. To readjust the aim assist in multiplayer. It's like crazy good. Willie, did you hear that Call of, uh, Call of Duty is leaking players like crazy? They lost, like, a ton of players. Like... Tons. Millions. Like it's dying. Yeah, 50 million. It's crazy.
Will, you didn't even experience skill-based matchmaking. You don't know how crazy it was. Okay, I don't know if this idiot's right in front of me because of this crazy camera angle. I can't believe they don't get stunned by mollies. It's just so stupid that enemies don't get stunned. Are you fucking kidding me? At least the game gave me a good camera angle. Fuck, I used six mollies. Whatever, it's better than Rebecca getting hit. Okay, new room. New adventure. So Rebecca can't throw the mollies as far? <gasps> Fucking heals, dude. Let's go. She needs the might of a man. Dude, this game created such a huge plot hole, though, with Rebecca went through so much shit. Way worse shit than the Stars team did in Resident Evil 1. They didn't have to deal with the fucking crazy violin sounds with the leech monsters. Or putting items on the fucking floor. Or monkeys jumping around everywhere. And then she acts like she's like a rookie. Ridiculous. I, I guarantee there's somebody on Reddit that's like, she was only acting inexperienced because she didn't want to give, uh, you know, what's it called? Like, because they're after Billy or whatever, right? And she wanted to reveal that she was with Billy. Some bullshit. I guarantee you someone said that. combination but it's missing a part and it can't be used okay what the hell okay we have a heal here I'm, I'm fine with using an extra molly to guarantee the kill. Fuck. Oh, that's the Zombo. It's either that or grenade launcher. Okay. Putting those mollies to work. Okay, we need to pass- we need to pass mollies. Rebecca, take my mollies. You will need more for your journey. I don't give a shit if the item's on its way. Can I transfer items down? If I can. Alright. Are you guys ready for item management? This is so fucking ridiculous. This game is so ridiculous, guys. I like seriously, what were they thinking, man? This game should have a warning logo on it, like only for the hardcore. I, <laughs> this game is like no other Resident Evil game I've played. Is this the hardest Resident Evil? It has to be. This game might be the hardest Resident Evil ever made. I mean, unless you count like... Unless you count Village on... Uh, what the hell is that mode call called? 
It's one of the worst, though. No. Stop lying, guys. Stop lying. You guys are lying. Right through your teeth. Okay, what's the inventory look like right now? Oh my god, should I send him a heal? Oh man. Oh god. Maybe I shouldn't have took the grenade launcher. I'm so jacked on juiced on mollies. Maybe I shouldn't have. I could use the heal. That would be devastating though. Why would I waste that heal? I kind of want to go back and put away that grenade launcher and just use mollies. I kind of do. I might. I'm thinking about it. I should have used the acid rounds and the zombies to clear up space. Maybe the acid rounds are good against the leech guys. Can you aim up the molly? Can't tell. Can't tell. This is crazy. This camera angle, like, and the game not hinting you. I guess so. Like, I I figured it out, but I don't know. I feel like someone would get stuck here for sure. You know, like if you were an Abigail player, you would be like, "What do I? Where, where do I go? There's nothing else." You try to get stuck here? You try wouldn't be playing this game on hard. Don't tell me he's gonna pass the hook to me. Don't tell me that's the case. But then I can't come back. No, there's no way. Okay, what am I missing here? I need to find where to put this container. And she can't use the green one? Is it in this room? No, this is where I came from. I need some stupid item that unlocks the doors. There's this room, but I think Billy has access to that room from up here. Let me double check. If she was able to go up there, the game would be like, yo, you just soft locked yourself. I can't believe how hardcore this game is. It's truly magical. I got space for this gasoline now, so it's ground down. Willie, is your playthrough still on Twitch? I need to see your playthrough of this game. It must have been fucking wild. It must have been so fucking insane. It was rough. Willie said he restarted the game like three, four times. Now, I don't fucking blame you. I, I die, I've never died so much in a Resident Evil game before. Like, this is by far the hardest one I've ever played. And it's not just hard, it's bullshit.
Maybe I'm supposed to put the empty container in here and I fucked up? Let's check the save room area again. Uh, there was backseat on my run because I was close to flushing it. I mean, fuck. <laughs> so you have no recording. Did you record it at least? In OBS? You must have the run, Willie. It's gotta be somewhere. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. You were gonna flush the game like you were gonna flush Ryu? It's gone. That's fucked up. Fuck. Yeah, I must need the container. Maybe I was supposed to put the container in that thing and I fucked up or something. I don't know. This is the door that's locked, right? Oh no, I, maybe I don't have access. Well, here's the here's the room that that. That said Rebecca could use the thing for. So I'm gonna check the container in a second here. Here's the bullshit room. Where I got screwed over. And Rebecca's right down there. Contain a specimen of a leech. The lid won't budge. Maybe it's sealed with some kind of special material. Oh, now I see the leech. Oh, that's the thing for the door. Oh, shit. I was supposed to put the capsule on that thing. Fudge. <laughs> She's still got the burning Molotov in her hand. This game is hardcore and bullshit. No machine thing here, right? A quick access, though. I have more problems playing Code Veronica than Resident Evil Zero. Really? I don't know. If you're talking about those those uh, what's it called? Um, Stretch Armstrong guys. Those guys are way easier to deal with than the Leech dudes. Way easier. The Armstrong guys are super slow. You can dodge them so easily. These Leech guys are like, ugh, ugh, and you're in a skinny hallway that you can't even move past them, and they have grabs. Like, it's, it's bullshit. It's just straight cheeks. Does this game have flow, Willy? Is there flow in this game? It's 
Zero flow. That's why it's called Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil bullshit. That's so they should have changed the difficulty from hard. It should be just called bullshit. Okay, I'm obviously doing something wrong here. I need to get rid of this thing now. Oh, maybe use a lighter? No. That would have been too big brain. Okay, I need to... We read that thing that talks about destroying leeches. Special material. And we can't use this stuff? You'll need a container. And I can't use it. Okay. Definitely missing something here. Some kind of item. Can't use that thing yet. Missing a container. Oh, I'll be right back. I gotta say, though. I literally don't remember anything about this game. And how couldn't I? Like, Qual must have been bitching so much. And this game would have been engra engraved in my brain. How did I not miss this horse shit? The only thing I remember is Qual getting stuck on the train on that stupid part where you need two guys to use a switch and that fucking leech theme. That's the only thing I know. And somehow I erased this bullshit from my brain. I played Overwatch? Man, that must have been so long ago if I was playing Overwatch. Okay, I... Hmm. I have the container. I need to... I need to get rid of this shit on the seal. Maybe there's something I have to give it back to Rebecca and she has to put something in the mansion, maybe. There's that other green thing that... But I don't think that's the same shit, though. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. I didn't grab. Maybe she has to come with me to that part where I kind of hop down, maybe. Huh. Where am I? Let me see that description. Because maybe uh, Re uh, Billy can put Rebecca down where that ladder is, maybe. OG Resident Evil 2 had hard mode. Like I said, they can keep remaking these games an infinite amount of times, man. I'd be begging for more. I just love Resident Evil. Even the bullshit ones. And this door is locked. Can't open it. No items here. I could punch right through that fucking glass, dude. Let me read this. What does it say? It looks too high to jump down. It doesn't say too high to jump down yourself. I clearly see a fucking ladder. Don't tell me you can use this. Okay, let's see if I can pass the hook shot and see if I can soft lock myself and see what happens. Oh, man. Yeah, we'll keep playing through the Resident Evils, guys. 
We'll make it to four. That's our main mission. Once Resident Evil 4 is done, then my life is fulfilled. And I've played most of the greats. Most of them. Maybe it will say the hookshot's too big? We'll see what happens. The item is too large. Damn, they thought of everything except for the bullshit. I'm almost positive I gotta pass this to Rebecca. Almost positive. Let's let's look around again. We need to break off this seal, but how? There is one of those green tanks back in the mansion, but I don't think that's it. She can't get up. I would assume it's something in this vicinity. If they want to make me go all the way back to the mansion, that'd be horseshit. I think when we play Resident Evil 5, it'll be awesome. I can't read this shit. There's the door leading up. Here's another one of those tanks. Wait, what is this? What? Looks like some kind of chemical. Put it in the mixing set? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh fuck. I completely forgot Rebecca had this thing. Holy cheeks. Oh fuck. I completely forgot about this item. So what does that mean about that green tank? Oh no. What was the point of that green tank back in the mansion? Oh my god, guys. <laughs> this key is so hardcore. This key item hasn't been used in so long. Guys, this is an homage to Resident Evil 1 because she has her chemical set. Okay. But I can't take this jar out. Okay. So I remember there was like this file that explained the thingy. It was like red plus, I don't know, yellow or some shit. So it was red. It was red and green. Where's the other one? I actually have to go through the fucking files, man. This game is so hardcore. What's the point of this poetry thing, by the way? All our hands cannot open the door. Like, what? This files one. <laughs> Player's manual. Do we even read this shit? Warning, game contains bullshit. When you are stuck, try to see if using your partner will help. Oh yeah, that's when I told Qual you should have read that. Oh, this might be all for the train. Yeah, it's gonna be one of these then. Mm-hmm. 
There's the word, guys. Whoa, how do you pronounce this word? Only humans can be a proper what? Look at this word. I've never seen it before. Me a word for the game? Dude, I was like... <laughs> Dude, I was having a seizure trying to like, trying to pronounce that word. I was like... M -m 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 I was like, dude, I just... I don't know. Okay, this is not the note. I'll find it eventually. There's one that explains the stripping agent. It's like red plus something. Inmates list. Oh. Oh, here it is. Red plus blue, green plus red, stripping agent. Okay, so green plus red. The red plus blue is sulfuric acid. We haven't seen a blue tank before, but we've seen a green. Space Channel 5 for retro? I've never played that game, but I know what it is. And I'll probably get DMCA'd up the ass for playing that game. Maybe. I can check to see. But any kind of music games is DMCA City. Guys, we've made huge progress. We found out that Rebecca can mix things. Massive progress. This is huge. Hold on, let me uh examine this so I can mark it on the map. Is it marked? Yes. Might as well mark this one too. Make it look extra important. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have to do some research on it. But yes, even some some of the Japanese ones, right? Because it could be licensed by Konami US or some shit, you know? There even is a Konami US. Okay, so she has to have access to a green tank somewhere. Otherwise, what's his name can't mix it himself. Oh, maybe I have to go all the way to that mansion part now. Now it's starting to make sense. Maybe. I think so. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Hold on, let's see if I can. Maybe. But I might waste a lot of time doing this. Okay. Hey guys, I have a question for the chat. It may contain spoilers, but... Does the game want me to go to that green tank I found in the mansion? Way, way back. To mix with this red one. Is that what it wants me to do now? It wants me to go all the way back to the main mansion. Because that's the only green tank I think I can access with Rebecca. I don't even know where it is. Cheeks. You believe there's another one? But it has to be within these two rooms, Azradi. I, I, maybe if Rebecca was the one that went up with the hook shot, but she wasn't. There's no other rooms. I think if you choose Billy to go up, you get screwed over, and you have to go through the mansion. I'm pretty sure. I will double check, but... 
There's no other green tanks. The only one was in that mansion spot. That I don't remember where it was, but it's in the mansion, the main mansion. See, there's no green tanks at all. This is it. This is the whole area. This shit's hardcore. I'm assuming the game just punishes you if you choose to, to bring Billy because he can take more hits than Rebecca. Yep, that's it. That's the whole area, dude. Quadruple checking. Yep. Okay. I don't remember where that tank is. I, don't, I have no idea where it is. It's somewhere on the second floor, I think, though. Everyone has Vesper skins on the verge of death. Oh, dude, we're playing on fucking hard and it's cheap. This game just destroys you if you don't know what's coming up next. I fought this stupid bad boss. I lost so much ammo. Maybe there's a tank in the church or something. If I can check around just in case. So though, some enemy, yeah, well, they don't respawn exactly, but some enemies reappear in certain spots. Especially if it knows you have to backtrack to a certain area. Yeah, no green tank in here. Damn, dude. So it definitely is that mansion spot. That's crazy they want you to do that. But like I said, it's a 50-50. If I would have got Rebecca to go up instead, it could have been different. It would have been easier. Well, maybe harder because the leech guys. Okay, now I just have to remember where that tank is. Where is that tank? There's nothing down here. I'm gonna recheck like the areas to make sure. Okay, it can't be in the room down the ladder. Hank's definitely not there. Let's check on the left side of the mansion first, I guess. I believe it was when those swords went up. That's when I found the room. So that kind of narrows it down even further. So let's check the sword doors. You couldn't interact with the door next to the mixing set, right? No, the one with the lock thing, it said it needed to contain an item to use the, the combination. Here's the chest room. So we still have another door to check here down the hall. Bullshit. Oh! 
Thank God. Whew. This game, like, it kind of requires you to use the 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 new controls, not the tank controls. To form a stripping agent. There we go. So now what? So we have one container of a stripping agent. Weaken the grip of certain types of materials. It literally just tells you that. Can I grab another one? Let's see what happens. It's already a mixture. Add the chemical. What if I do? To form a red chemical. Oh, so I just won't let you carry more than two or whatever. Okay. So you can just undo it. Okay. So I have the stripping agent. Just double check to make sure. Okay. All right. There's no other items in here, right? Fucking bullshit. I'm already in caution from that? That's so fucking stupid. I'm in orange caution from that. That's bullshit, dude. I had full health. Fuck, this game is BS, man. Oops, I went the wrong way. Trying to think, do I need to drop off this grenade launcher while I'm here? I'm gonna get rid of that jar. I wanna make sure I bring all those items back. What does Billy have in his inventory? He's gonna give me that, we're gonna use that item, so we'll have that cleared out. Well, as long as I can find an excuse to use these two grenade shots, I should be fine. God, those monkeys are so stupid. Dude, like, once again, they put two of those monkeys in the area where it's just a skinny hallway. Like, the fuck were they thinking, man? They must have, like, made all these hallway areas to, like, combat the fact that you have two characters. And if you bring one with you, you can both shoot. Or maybe they, they've they started this game development with it being two players in mind and they made it fucking hard. Who knows? escape bro God, that was so bullshit i'm still salty about that i got put in danger and then i put put in the orange caution just to go through one hallway that's so dumb I guess that's the price I paid, like I said, for not making Rebecca go be the one on the top of the roof. So 
Oh, this is for the door. Door handle thing. Alright. Is there even a red container where Billy is? Yep. Yep, there is. There's a red and a green right by where he is. So, I don't know which way would have been easier, but considering I lost all my health, I'm, like who knows. These fucking heels. for bullshit number two. Mysterious objects are floating in the water. Something else? I don't know. Written on the back of the photograph. James, commemorate your graduation, 1939. It's Marcus? <gasps> that guy must be Marcus's son. Oh shit! Exposition! Oh! The plot thickens. But wait, it's- they- they said Marcus doesn't have any children though. Cable car moving again. What cable car? Must be his grandson. I don't like that smiley face. What the fuck is this coil for? Okay, let me pass this uh, ammo to Billy here so I can free up another spot. Thirty bullets too in one stack. Probably should save too in case you know Captain Bullshit appears. This game is long too when you play it in your first playthrough. It's fucking long. But this is like the first Resident Evil game that we were playing on stream that you don't play as, uh, you don't choose which character you play as, you know? So it's one playthrough anyways, if you think about it.
Wait until you see how long RE4 is? Bro, I'll beat that game in like two hours. save. Famous last words, best. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are schemers. This area is so ridiculous. Okay, we finally have got all the items on the floor now. Except for the key item there. Yeah. Okay. That's good. My god, dude. And we still have that backup save just in case we truly fuck up. We got that backup save before we even fought that boss. Uh, the bad boss. When things went really hairy. We have saved five times since that bad boss. And Rebecca's my ex she's the explosives expert. It's got a grenade launcher and mollies up the ass. Shotgun's just useless now. I can see someone getting stuck here too on that mixing set if you forget about Rebecca's key items. Where's my item? Where is it? There it is. Are we saved? We saved. I'm at ease right now. I'm at ease. Oh! Good one shot them. Damn, one acid round each. Huge waste of ammo, but you know what? Fuck it. We now finally cleared up a space. This picture is composed of four separate sheets. What's this? Oh, one... Oh, that's for Billy. I didn't even think about passing the, that one to Billy. Good thing I didn't think about that. I would have, would have wasted my time going to that other door. For some reason, just look at them sends a chill up your spine. Oh yeah, if I stopped playing here too and came back, I would have been so confused, dude. This game, it's like... This game has a lot to do with memory. Like, you have to remember things really well. Or at least write them down, because... There are, there are such an abundance of key items and backtracking in this game. An absurd amount. Which I, which I, don't, I don't mind. I like that, but... Still. The game demands a lot from you. Memory of where you place your items. Memory of the key items. Constant backtracking. Okay. Hopefully I don't have to pass on that coil item. I probably would do though. 
to see. I'm going to assume I do though. Alright, we need to free up a space here. I'm gonna free up two spaces just in case. There's no reason there's no use for the fuel unless we have cocktails, so. Uh which one had the thingy? for some stupid reason. Where's the other door thing? Oh, it's right here. Okay. And the door is green. Okay. do I have? Just pistol, okay. But a million bullets. Oh, you mean Rebecca? Yeah. Strange smell emanates from inside. I hear zombies. Oh shit, he's crawling towards me. I almost got screwed over by the camera there. What is this? Sterilizing agent. Oh, look at the body bags. Holy cow. Shit's dark. You got a feeling I was just stuffed in there. Oh, boy. Hey, there's another zombie right here. Any items here? Yeah, that's Rebecca. This is Resident Evil Zero. Jill's still at, at Raccoon City right now. Or at least she's prepping up and she's getting ready to go on the way. <laughs> Containment by a virus. Yay. Holy cow. Finally, we can go in this room. Wait, there's a loading screen for this room? What the hell? What the fuck? That's bullshit. This game is fucking bullshit. Wait, now this doesn't have a fucking loading screen? Reading room key. Oh, that's for that combination thing.
Dude, that's bullshit. Yeah, the breeding room for the leeches. This game, this game dude, is so hardcore. How are they able to communicate to each other their passing items? Need a radio for that shit. Oh man. They yell at each other, yeah, down the thing. Check the room. What? Ronan, can you say that again? That sentence you had a stroke in the middle. I don't understand it. I've examined every room in this this area, this little house, a million times. Wait, what? Isn't this what I need? Missing a part. Oh, maybe there was a door back in the main mansion I didn't open. Maybe. Yeah. It's the one above? What do you mean it's the one above? There's this locked door here, too. By, uh... What's his name? But I think it's for the mansion, though. Because it doesn't have an engraving or anything on it. in front of the thing right now. Which door was that? Let's find that thing. Marcus bus, I don't remember. There's a door, I'll just check the locked doors. I mean, I'll find it eventually. There's a locked door like this way. Okay, maybe I'll pass it back to Billy. So I don't think there's anything, any doors on her side. I was like thinking if there was any doors that didn't open up in the mansion, but I think I cleared it. I can simply just check the map and I'd know because there's a bunch of locked doors here. But if I check the mansion, uh, how do I switch the change floor, select map? There we go. Training facility. There was that at the start of the game. That's the door that I went through after the water thing came up. Yeah. I literally opened every door up in the training facility. So it's definitely gotta be here. So I just gotta look for a red door. So there's one right across from this room here.
this door. I completely forgot about this door. But that's only because it didn't have like a symbol on it though. It was just a locked door. Alright, what bullshit awaits me this time? This looks like Monkey Cage City. Holy cheeks! As soon as I knocked on that second hunter Resident in midair, I should have ran Zero. forward. I have no magnum. I have magnum bullets. I had a shotgun until I spent every shot, every shotgun I shell I saved up for the stupid bad boss. I'm not too far back. So, what happened? I'm here. What do I have? Did I give the stripping agent? I must have. Oh, yeah. I had to. Okay, I don't know. Where, I know where I am. Gave him the ammo and then I saved. How's our zero zero going? Really hard, man. Really tough. I keep getting killed because uh, I don't know what comes next and I get put in really bad situations. Maybe I should pass on the mollies. Should I get greedy? Yeah, I saved two grenade launcher shots there, but now I don't have any inventory space again. Now I know what comes next. Yes. That's besides the point, Super. <laughs> What's in the store again? Oh yeah, this stupid thing. Keep forgetting that, too. Bullshit. I don't think mollies are good against hunters though, they're way too fast. Maybe I should pass him the fucking- Oh wait, this is too big to pass it to him. Wait, I didn't have inventory space to pick up the thing? No! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Dude, this is like a meme. Yeah, I can leave this here though. Oh my god, dude. The reason I didn't have inventory space this time is because I didn't fire those two acid round shots. That's why. If I fucking get bit here, I'm restarting. For sure. Thousand percent. 
Dude, this game is a meme. Okay, at least the other one didn't get up. Quah, <laughs> how did I miss your run, dude? I, Quah, I want to watch you play it again. <laughs> I need to watch you play this game again. Holy shit. This game is like the ultimate, like, watch your friend with your hands in your pants game. It's gotta be the most ultimate one. <laughs> Just so you can see everyone's reaction to all the bullshit around every corner. But you have to play it on hard on your first playthrough for the ultimate bullshit experience. I got so bored of you dying? I don't remember it. This game, the, cr the crazy is just how frequent the bullshit is in this game. It's insane, dude. It's around every corner. Oops, I was going the right way. This is me with every House of the Dead. The game is a credits black hole. <laughs> but House of the Dead is is one of the first fair uh, railgun shooters, though. That game can be mastered. If you want black hole of credits, play fucking Carnival. That game is bullshit. The last boss's name literally is Token Taker. Bullshit ass game. We played Revolution X, dude. Remember? With the crazy static sounds. Shut up. Hey, he turned his head. You guys see that? <gasps> Look at that Zombo's head. Look. Wonder if there's an item. I thought you said he was Twitch acting. That'd be cool if there was Magnum bullets behind him. I guess their plan was, was to distract you on this zombie crawling and then that other one grabs you. A one-two bullshit combo.
Oh no, this bullshit. This is what I mean, there's bullshit around every corner. This zombie's probably gonna bite me this time because of RNG. And then right after the hunter part, it's just this bullshit on bullshit. Can you run out of the room with the hunters? You can run back, but this entire game for some reason is skinny hallways. Skinny hallway fucking city. Oh, should we save again? Just in case. It's our last save, though, for this area. Alright, fuck it. But it's our last save, though. And there might be more bullshit. Fucking cheeks. Last juice. Yeah, for this area. I have like nine ink ribbons on the other area or whatever. I really needed more dev time. I know I'm I'm enjoying it. It's just bullshit. Like I'm just complaining a lot. I I <laughs> it's a different experience. I like how hard it is, but and hardcore it is too. I'm just blown away how bullshit it is. Oh, I got the god angle. I got the god angle. How the fuck is still alive? What the fuck? Dude, I'm almost out of bullets. Remember I came in here, I had 60 bullets. Uh, no, we're playing... We're playing in an order, with the exception of this game. But I... I've I played Cold Veronica a couple of times. It's my first Resident Evil game I played, so I know the game really well. BLW Report. Research to date has shown that when the progenitor virus is administered to living organisms, violent cellular changes cause a breakdown in the system. Furthermore, no satisfactory method has been found to control the organisms for use as weapons. Clearly, greater coordination at the cellular level is essential to enable further growth. I conducted a number of experiments in an effort to find a breakthrough. This is my report. Perhaps because these ancient animals have been genetically stable for millennia, when administered with the progenitor virus, they exhibit only explosive high energy growth and increased aggressiveness. It's extremely difficult to envision using them as a BLW. Oh, it's talking about all the different, okay, like insects, okay, amphibians. Chicken a frog with the virus resulted in an increase in leaping power and abnormal tongue growth. However, no change in mental ability was observed. Furthermore, an abnormal appetite resulted in the test subject randomly attacking all moving objects. Limited. Hold on, I'm just reading what it says about the bugs. Just high growth. That's cool. <gasps> There's the word again, guys. 
Mammalia. Genetic virus was merged with monkey's cellular DNA to increase fertility. The resulting young exhibited improved aggressiveness and some increased mental capacity. As a side effect, the visual power was lost, but this was offset by an improvement in hearing. So it loses sight by gains hearing. Are there unsatisfactory as weapons? It does seem that no progress can be made without making humans the base organism. And there's the thing for the door. You wonder what they were... What? This cage is about the same height as a human? You wonder what they were raising in there? What the hell? I wonder too. I wish they gave me more information. Dude, this whole area is item passing torture porn. You can get so fucked too coming to this area because you're you can leave your weapons behind at the mansion and shit. Dude, like I'm serious, like every single five minutes this game can can soft lock you. Why am I always injured? Man up. Zach, you better be ready for Thursday. You better be ready. We're gonna- it's gonna be non-stop. No time loss. You know what I mean? We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna be throwing our gear on the floor. We're gonna be speed running so hard. We gotta get the hell mode in one night. <laughs> we gotta go hard, dude. All right, put the stupid thing down, I guess. You're gonna be eating McDonald's, what the hell? <laughs> I ain't soldiering like D3. Okay, well, playing till one is still soldier though, Zach. That's still like really long. That's like eight hour session. That's still soldier. But yeah, not, not Infernal mode soldier, where you and me were like, one of the first players to fight the fucking butcher on Inferno. And it was like a World of Warcraft, like, raid boss. I know Stain plays Diablo too. Enter a combination. Wait, do we even have a combination? Oh! Oh, the combination could be that stupid thing with the leeches. I think so. There's a there's gotta be a reason why the words are in different colors. So, say four. Mm -mm -mm. Eight. Uh, six. Three? Write down four, eight, six, three. But how do I know which way to turn it, though? Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, it's not- it's not like a safe dock, okay. Okay, 
Okay, that was too easy. Easy. Still not as good as the Animal Kingdom puzzle. That was the best puzzle so far. The rest is item passing torture porn. Too easy. I was gonna go grab the key item, but whatever. Assuming I have to use the key item in this area. Now this is more like it. <gasps> she has a radio. Hey, she's on the other side. Billy, I found an aerial cable. Oh, now I know we what to use it. Out of this place. Wait there, I'm coming. Roger. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Out. Wait. If we leave this mansion, what about all the items I have in the main mansion? Don't tell me I have to run back and grab them all. If they do, that would be the most unbelievable horse shit ever. Grab that key item. Spoilers? Oh man. What's okay? I ha if if that's even the case, since we saved recently, it won't be that bad. We can run back and start funneling items. It'll take like three hours, but we can get it done. And plus, when we're on the train, there was that they actually had the thought to like give you your items that you left on the train. I'm out of saves, Bunky. The fucking chat told me to save again. I'm out of saves in this area. My increments are back at the main mansion. Blew my load too early. <gasps> Another hookshot spot. The ladder? Yay. No, I'm saying if I get screwed over, I can run back to the mansion. It'll just take hours to funnel the items back and forth. Can't carry this out right now. United at last. At last. I'm on my way, Rebecca. Wait, where the fuck am I going? This whole area was bullshit. United. Let's regroup. Roger. Finally. Holy shit. Okay, what kind of inventory we have here? Grab this shit. Billy could have easily jumped down there, but whatever. I guess I combine them with the other thing. I said if I kill a card and move again. Uh, 
Another fudge. We got one of those has to drop an item on the floor. Oh god. Oops. Oh, we don't combine it? We have to use... Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Also, I want to check that hook shot spot, too. Uh... Let's split up. Roger. So we have to get the power going. So maybe I have to use the hookshot and grab those items up. Let's see what happens here. Oh no, shotgun shells. Hey, the door. Yay, the door is unlocked. Oh, I didn't want to go through it. So that explains how she's going to pass the items to me now. But the thing. So where do I put the stuff? I, mean, I have to put it in the... There, let's grab this shit. Hey, you can see Rebecca from there. That's cool. You see her from there. Can I control her? Nope. You can just see her, though. That's interesting. We need it. Use the stuff like right here. Click. And then one more item. Click. <gasps> Cutscene. Yay. The cable car has been activated. Can I still operate? just have power basically okay lights I have inventory space thank god no shotgun with me all right because both characters have sufficient weapons no Probably gonna have to get the mollies from. Okay, she gives me the mollies and she has a grenade launcher. I got seven mollies and a pistol. <laughs> One of these characters is gonna get fucked over. I just know it. And we both need heals. Grabbing the heals just in case. <gasps> Monkey! Wait! Ow! 
What the fucking cheeks? That was bullshit! This game is fucking bullshit. This game is fucking bullshit, dude. Zero. Holy fuck. Oh my god, dude. You guys like how I passed the heal to fucking Billy? And I had a 50% 50, 50 chance to guess the bullshit? And I guessed wrong? You guys like that shit, hey? Unreal. Like, seriously, 50 50. Fucking unreal, dude. Oh my god. Fuck. That's so dumb. Even back to the mollies. Yeah, even fact. I'm still gonna give him the mollies, though. But yeah. Bullshit! Resident Evil Zero. I can't believe it, man. Jesus Christ, this game is bullshit. It's fucking unreal, man. If you play this on your first playthrough on hard, it is so fucking unfair. Is he even fucking getting hit? God, there's so much fucking RNG too, man. Holy fuck, what time is it, man? I need a fucking break soon. Just admit it! Reuse OP! Time for flushing? <laughs> I'm gonna flush this game, what the fuck? Oh my Resident Evil 
dude. Zero. How do I do that on my fucking first try? And now it's like, I don't know, man. I need to roll a six. And why does the game stun lock you and you get guaranteed three hits? Maybe I can try killing one and then fucking running past them. But the chance of me getting hit is so fucking astronomically high. Especially since every area with enemies in this game is a fucking skinny hallway. Give a fuck who was raised here. Resident Evil Zero. Shit, dude. <laughs> oh my god, man. This game is torture porn, dude. <laughs> what? Oh my god, dude. I wish I could see my brother's playthrough, man. It must have been pure hell. You need better footsies? It's impossible with tank controls, man. With tank controls, I'm fucked. The pistol doesn't work well on anything, bro! Maybe crows. That's it. Oh, the god angle. The fucking god angle. Puzzle God. But that was just the first phase of bullshit. We're about to enter phase two.
mind the people watching. Mind the enemy. I'm not gonna flush it if I die again. I'm just gonna fucking complain. Wait, what? What was the number again? It was like eight, six, three. Forgot the last number. Six again? Oh, wait. It's eight, four. Wait, four, eight. Did you forget, Qua, or are you just trolling? <laughs> now. now this is pod racing. Here we go again. Not yet, I gotta juggle around a million items again. Oops. Why did I go through the same door? Here we go. extra ink ribbon guys if only I had an extra one This is a game, bro. Oh, fuck. I fucking left the item back in that hall. fuck is it? Oh, I see. Do I have a space? Okay. About to blow a gasket here. I die here, I'm gonna rage. I'm gonna rage, guys. 
Because I don't have to deal with those stupid hunters again. Fucking rage. Oops. Wait, oh yeah, the hook shot. Oops. Did I am something there? There we go again, guys. Phase two bullshit. <laughs> Phase two. All right. Assess inventory. Let's regroup. Okay. All right. We're gonna have to blast this piece of shit as soon as he appears. I don't know if I should use ass arounds. I probably should use fucking molly, but the molly doesn't stun. choose her own I die but she has heals though ah fuck I was thinking the flame rounds too So stupid. Alright, I'm holding R1. Ready to blast this piece of shit. this 
That was the same amount. I should have used the fucking mollies, dude. Okay, what now? Power right player. Can't switch to Billy. Oops, that's the ladder. Now you know how goaded mollies are? Now I know I was ready. These fucking things hurt me. Oh, I remember these pieces of shit were in the train. Hate that asshole. Did it just show the same cutscene again? I really just saw a Naruto flashback. So what? Rebecca just abandons Billy? <gasps> is that what I think it is? Nighthawk. Persona. This game should have gave you the Magnum way earlier because of all the amount of bullshit around every corner. Can I go through the other door? The door I came from. No. I think you have to use it. I still don't understand why she abandoned Billy. There's nothing else here. Heels. That piece of sh I can't believe that piece of shit hit me too. That oh my god, it's so annoying, dude. Full on fucking inventory. Where the hell am I? Guess I'll just mark it on the map. There's an ink ribbon and a typewriter. I need to fucking save. 
What the cheeks? Save room with an item box. Oh, Fuck yes, tightly sealed. Why can't I wear a helmet? Yeah, how long is this fucking game? Put this down. Put this down for a second so I can grab these heels and put them in here. Bullets down the floor, too. I guess because I'm dying a lot, the game feels so much longer, too. But once again, it's like a... It's not like you pick two different characters, so... Once you've done one playthrough, that's it. At least we gotta save, bro. At least. One of the S rank requirements is to finish in less than three hours and a half, so it's relatively long. Yeah. Like, you know, doing those is like, it's like whatever, because you, you, you know the game and you know what happens next and all that. It saves so much time, but for a first playthrough, I feel like this is very long. Because of the amount of times you have to backtrack and drop items on the floor and pass items, it's very time consuming. I don't really want to combine these. So much shit on the floor. Look at this inventory, it's such a mess. Damn, only one save, too. Still got the super backup save before, before. That was the backup save before everything went to shit. The bad boss and all that. It was like a huge domino effect of BS. Okay, we should definitely stop it here. I'm like mentally worn out. <laughs> 